Hey, I'm an American. And in today's video, after living here for almost three years, I want to see if I agree with the facts about Finland. I guess we'll find out after this. What is up you guys, more more moi and welcome back to the Daddy Diesel channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Daddy Diesel. I'm an American entrepreneur living in Finland. And in this channel, I like to talk about my different experiences and adventures while living in this country. If you wanna see more about my adventures here and wanna learn more about Finland, make sure to subscribe and also like this video. So what's up guys? In my last video, if you haven't seen it, go ahead and make sure to check up the link above. In my last video, I started a new series called Finish in the Sauna, where I'll be covering different hot topics about my experience of living in Finland. Now, in my last video, I actually got inspired. I really enjoyed you guys' comments and the things that you guys had to say in the conversation that was had. So what I've decided to do, because I want to be helpful and bring more attention to the country of Finland and the success that it's helped me have, I want to go ahead and start to share more information about Finland and educate foreigners about Finland while also creating conversation with native Finns to better help other people learn and also myself learn more about Finland. So with that being said, I wanted to give an authentic look in today's video by actually looking at some of the facts, because prior to me living here, I read, of course, some of the facts, 100 facts or 10 facts about Finland. And of course, you can have one perspective of a place prior to moving, but then you have another one once you actually move, integrate, live and experience. So as promised, in today's video, I'm actually going to go ahead and look at some of these facts and tell you ah, if I agree with them or not. Number one, Finland is the world's happiest country. This is one of those hard facts. And of course, I had to make it number one because everybody talks about Finland being the happiest country in the world. So now that you're watching this, and I know that you're curious as a foreigner, if you've never heard anything or don't know much about Finland, is Finland the happiest country in the world? Here's how I'll explain it. If you're a Finn, you've been raised here, you're native, you've been living your whole life. Most likely, you just feel like you're just living life. I personally feel like the happiest country in the world title, it's not the greatest title to be given. Here's why. When people put the title happiest on your country, what they're now in fact doing is making people think that Finns walk around grinning from ear to ear. When I say that's incorrect, I don't mean to say that of course Finns get happy, they're people. Like Finns is just a title of the fact that they're Finnish, they're born in Finland, but these are just normal human beings at the end of the day. But however, now people sometimes have this perspective that if you go there, it's gonna be this way. Kind of the same way if I tell you about Hollywood or New York, you have a perception of how life is going to be there, how people are going to be there when you go. With that being said, the best way I can personally explain it based on my experience of living here, because I am not a native fan, I have not lived here my entire life, but here are some things that I've seen myself. So I believe some of the things that might value the happiest country in the world and bring that title to Finland is perhaps the way of life. I feel as though personally being that I'm not from Finland and not native to Finland, I'm able to appreciate and notice things that are not native to where I'm from. Therefore, when coming to this country, things that might seem as normal or normal everyday life to a fan are not normal everyday life, excuse me, to other foreigners. I love the fact that Finland also includes having evaluations on self. It is very normal for a fan to have themselves checked out of work for mental health. Mental health, a lot of times, at least seen from America, can be a very kind of looked at as a sick way. If someone is mentally schizophrenic or mentally ill, which is very ill. I don't like how I said that word, huh? Ill, ill. But mentally ill, which can be, you know, not looked at highly in society. In Finland, I really love the factor that they say, hey, I'm not feeling too well. You know, it could be depression, it could be sadness, it could be anything in these regards. I just need some time away from work. And this is something that not only are you paid for, but you're also not kind of looked down upon. You're supported. I think that right there alone is a reason why a country can be slightly happier in that sense, because you're in a country that you're allowed to actually be in tune with one's emotions. 
and obviously the life around them. There's so much nature. I believe that sometimes nature can actually bring on sense of happiness because I've noticed that a lot of fans actually appreciate the nature that's around them and appreciate the atmosphere in which they're around and they make that appreciation to me personally by living within it, by having things as the cottage and having things as the hunting and things like that. I feel like they're involving themselves very much into their nature and enjoying nature. Therefore, I believe there's a little bit more happier uh, uh, experiences you can have in life when you are connecting with mother nature. Number two, almost half of Finland's foreign population lives in Helsinki. So as I said before in my video prior to this, guys, this makes a lot of sense to me personally because like I said, being an entrepreneur in Finland was not easy at first, of course. And even now my work is way more international and then I occasionally do work with some companies here in Finland. But that being said, I believe that if you are not from obviously, you know, an English speaking country, and even if you are, you might definitely swarm to the capital. I mean, that's what most countries do anyway. The capital, the, the main city of a country tends to be pretty much most of the time the most progressive in that sense and obviously it's spanning itself out across Finland but a bit, you know it usually is the most progressive spot where if you go to this capital of this country or this uh, capital of this state or whatever you're going to be in an environment that perhaps you have a better chance when it comes to job and income because of course as soon as you're moving or you're trying to live somewhere you got to know how am I going to make money how I'm going to survive so therefore being in a position where hey if I go there hey I speak English or hey I kind of understand English or hey there's a community of people within my same set of skills that I can be in of course you'll be more attracted to a bigger city like that so that you can experience the quickest way to you know, pretty much have a foundation and or success. And some of them also come here just for school reasons. And therefore, even though there's various wonderful schools throughout Finland, I think probably, perhaps, I do not have the answer to this. Let me know in the comments. Perhaps maybe some of the bigger universities or school would be in the capital of Helsinki. Number three, the Finnish language is totally different from the Scandinavian languages. So this one right here is a hard one for me to even get around because personally, I had no interest nor knew anything about Scandinavian languages prior to Finnish. What I mean by not knowing, of course, I know they exist and I've heard what they are, but I mean in context of I was not studying them. Therefore, I didn't have a reason to even research them or see how to say this or that or so forth. With that being said, I'm kind of happy that Finnish is the first one because technically if it's out of the loop anyway, therefore the hardest one, as they say, well, technically I feel like I'm in a good position to say, hey, uh, I took on the hardest language. Doesn't mean that I'm mastering that language. <laughs> but at the same time, I can say personally that I am doing my best to learn and it's still not great. But almost after three years, guys, I really have changed a lot. And as you guys know, I'm going to be making content where you see me try more. And if you're interested in seeing that and want to see my experience of failing, but also trying, make sure to subscribe, guys. I want you guys to see this journey of me trying to get this language down and learn more and also help you guys that are non fin to learn more about being here and the success that you can have. And if you are a fan, that you can learn the experiences that foreigners are having, in this case, myself, are having while living here in Finland. And I obviously want you guys to help me out by giving me some good advice. Number four, all Finns learn Swedish at secondary school. So here's a good example of exactly what I was speaking about in my last video. Guys, I said that, hey, when I'm an English speaker from America trying to learn this Finnish language, it's not so easy. Why is that? Well, I was saying perhaps it wasn't the easiest because in this context, I'm coming from a country where a lot of our TV shows, a lot of our programs, a lot of our social media, of course, it's oversaturated. It's boom, 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 high dopamine. To come to Finland, it's way more lax. It's way more comfortable. It's not shooting fire off all the time therefore sadly kind of like a child going to play video games and the situation this generation is having in regards to having all of these social media video games and then having to go sit down in like a classroom it's not always easy for them it's almost like adhd to have that so in this context it seems the same to me sometimes with language learning is like if you come from this very high saturated like movie blockbusters and action pack this and social media brrr, all of this happening in english and then you come to another language that's more so i go to anytime i go to search up by the way learning finish or something they're they're teaching you just like they should basic but there's nothing that hypes me there's no tv show at least right now that 
then I've seen that hypes me to be like, I gotta learn this finish. So of course, even as I'm trying, it's a little bit slower. Whereas most people that want to learn English, not saying just being stereotypic, there might be many avenues that you can get yourself into at some point that gets you to learn English a little bit easier. And perhaps you're more interested in learning English than I am. On top of the fact that sadly, when it comes to Finnish, outside of the country of Finland and outside of pretty much anybody that has a relative or is Finnish, you're not gonna be speaking Finnish. There's not many places in the world that you would go that does not have a connection to Finnish lineage or Finnish people that you'll be actually speaking Finnish, where obviously things like English are that way, that you have multiple people from all over the globe that are speaking that language. Therefore, that's why it might also be a little bit easier for people that wanna learn English and a little bit more difficult for people that wanna speak Finnish. So I said all of that to give that example of what's happened with Swedish. I feel like many people that are Finnish here in Finland have obviously gone to school and had to learn Swedish just like they had to learn English. But one language was gonna be a language that 100% for sure would be very beneficial to you if you decide to use it outside of Finland, but also possibly inside when it comes to other cultures. Most foreigners moving into Finland do not speak Swedish unless they are Swedish or whatever the connection is that they have there, or it could also be that they just don't speak Swedish at all. So therefore English was a little bit easier on top of the fact that I find that most Finns say the same thing. Hey man, I went to school, I learned Swedish, but I didn't have a reason to use it. And most likely, unless you're living on the border of Sweden within Finland, you're not gonna be needing to speak it unless, like I said, there's Swedish people in the city that you live. But most likely, if not the case, you don't really have a reason to speak Swedish. Finns don't feel silences. So when it comes to this, I'll make it simple. Don't wanna confuse you. Feeling silences is not the touch feel. Feeling silences in this case is that, at least when I moved here, I noticed it. To be honest, I don't really notice it anymore. I probably would notice if I went back home and if I was doing it. But I personally say that when I first moved here, feeling silences was the concept that you could be having a conversation with someone that was finished. And then in the middle of the conversation, it was just quiet. And to be honest, I guess that you get so used to people saying or humming or doing something that perhaps you're not used to just like, nothing and i don't think that that's a bad thing it's just a different way that fans go about it but personally like i said it was something like i'll give you an example it's probably not going to sound as weird as it felt to me personally but i have my little son of course right and when he was a little bit smaller it was elifi her mother her sister her grandparents all here in this room and myself included and at one point they just i don't know what happened it was like so strange to experience but at one point they were just having a conversation everybody stopped it literally felt like for like i'm not going to over exaggerate like 35 40 seconds right of just silence and they were just staring at my son and it was so weird because like i it wasn't like progressive like a conversation was like oh yeah 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 it was just like oh, yeah, yeah. that was it everybody was quiet like everybody nobody was having a side conversation and they were just staring and nothing was being said and it was almost like if you were to like be around not being funny but like well i am being funny but like if it was being around like robots or something and like just for a second they were like <coughs> pending data you know they were just like <laughs> but it was just like that so it was kind of funny it was hard to explain come to finland experience it finland sauna is mad now, I'm not sure why that was the title, but at the end of the day, of course, we got to talk about fins and the sauna, right? Because this is a stereotype. Now, I don't know about the mad part, but personally, right now in my house, I actually do have a sauna. I love it. I love everything about the sauna. I don't know why there's any negative stipulation around it personally, but I would have to say that of course, before moving to Finland, I obviously have been in sauna and I have also been in steam room. I'm actually 100% a huge fan of steam room. And to be honest, I think I actually choose steam room over sauna. So there's this low key issue that I have when I'm in the sauna that I try to throw so much goddamn water that I get steam, but it's not really a steam room. It's only a sauna room, but I'm a little disappointed by the fact that it is not a steam room. That was a lot of talking, but I meant what I meant. But with that being said, guys, sauna is definitely part of the culture. My favorite sauna thing to do, sauna thing, sauna activity, finish activity uh, that I've done multiple times since living here is I extremely enjoy the ice swimming 
and getting into the sauna. I really enjoy that. It's an experience that you have to have, especially if you got like soreness from the gym or working out or back pain, whatever. I highly recommend that. Getting into that ice water, man, shocks the body just right. Get yourself in there, swim in that thing for a second. Get out, get in that sauna and allow the heat to come in and expand those muscles and expand those veins and vessels. I'm all over the place, right? But literally, it's a fantastic experience. If you haven't done it, come to Finland, do it. Ice swim, get in the sauna, all normal. But all right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I will continue to make content like this and my finishing the sauna series and my reaction videos because I want people that don't know about Finland to learn more about Finland and the value that it holds, including the fact that people that are Finn, I want you to see how I'm experiencing it and how other foreigners might experience living in Finland. But you know how it is. I got to get out of here. It's time for me to get back to doing my actual work every day. Job work. Moika, out.